Hi everybody, I'm Karen Carson and this is Truth Tango. Today's Truth Tango is, I want free energy like Tartaria. I want my free energy, and it is mine too. It's ours. This flat earth was made for us, and we had everything we needed, until it was screwed with. We had lights and electricity that was generated by nature, well, along with a few precious earthly gifts like copper, mercury, and lead. Yeah, all those things that we were told were so bad for us. Spires and domes were topped with gold and along with other metals to generate electricity. They used local waterways, which were also part of this ingenious, unique infrastructure that has systematically been destroyed over time. Healing was done with sound and vibrations using those ginormous pipe organs that most people think are for church choirs. No, people gathered in the square to bathe in the energy, the sunlight, and the musical healing sounds. And this is how they were kept healthy. When a government is hell-bent on controlling the masses, free anything is out of the question. So they took it from us. Those hideous telephone and electrical poles dot our landscape with a terribly unnatural way to harness what is already there, free and available for use. But they need to control it. They want to be paid paid for something they did not create and have no business collecting money for it. They must be really scared of losing their so-called power. Just to be clear, I'm talking about before what I call the Victorian slash cowboy times. By the way, isn't it weird that both of these eras were in existence simultaneously? We picture the rugged cowboy with a sweaty scarf, dusty clothes, and a cowboy hat to shield them from the scorching sun, as their women wash the family clothing on a scrub board and cook over a fire all day long. This, alongside people dressed in elegant Victorian clothing, living in castles with servants that cook on, perhaps, radium stoves? There is an awful lot that has been kept from us. Thankfully, the information highway, as infiltrated as it is, still has some data available to put together the omitted history lessons we were cheated. As some podcasters indicate, Wikipedia is so wrong about so many things, contradicting itself about just everything, that it's becoming laughable. Perhaps we'll be able to, collectively, put together a world history that actually makes sense. I do hope it's during our lifetime. We deserve to know at least that. But getting back to free energy, people had free water too, and it was pure and clean. I don't think we can even imagine that coming from a stream or a brook at this point in time, but I do hope they still exist because I get my water from a spring. I can only hope it's still clean. The patents that are kept from us are something to study. 6,000 of these were supposed to be released, but something is stopping that. Well, hopefully someone with guts will make that water-run vehicle again, this time for the masses, except they were way past that as well. That is, before the reset that created the cowboy days. They were flying cars, as there are today in other places. There was teleportation. Yeah, like Star Trek. These teleportation arches were found in the castle-like structures as well. Apparently, people, sometimes ten at a time, were able to teleport to other places, perhaps to even another time. This stuff has been hidden, along with all natural cures for ailments. People lived long, beautiful lives, I don't think there was religion because I think they all knew there was one God and it seems that they lived in harmony together, just knowing that. I believe religions were formed by the same people who stole the castles and called themselves kings in order to divide the world into sections. I suppose it's so much easier to rule that way, split up the people among the kings. And isn't religion always the culprit for war, and money, and power. 
we will probably never get back to that paradise that this flat earth was before the resets, the direct energy weapons destruction, the mud floods, and the terrible greed that overtook, taking many unsuspecting slaves in with them, until they're not needed anymore. But we can certainly get free energy back. It's in the ether. It's in the air. Remember, God gave us everything we need. We just have to protect it, nourish it, encourage it, and resist the control. Can you imagine if the resistance was worldwide? I can certainly imagine that it is possibly getting that way. As people find out what we used to have and can't have now because of a greedy few, as people find out that they served their country not fighting for a cause, but actually fighting and dying for a filthy rich banker. As people find out that we should all be rich with good nutritious foods, clean waterways, and free natural energy. As people find out the truth about the luxurious, affordable airships and how they docked at mooring stations in the sky atop the fabulous skyscrapers, which were already there for perhaps hundreds of years. As they find out all of these things, something is going to click. And they're going to get pissed. And we're going to get what we deserve again. Not sure if I'm going to see the other side of this in my lifetime. But if we play our cards right, right now, we will see the beginnings of a bright, new, beautiful world created for us and by us with the help of a government that serves us. Until next time, I'm Karen Carson, and this is Truth Tango.